let's talk about the work it takes to stretch or compress a spring. Uh, now, if you have a spring, you already know that um, what I'm going to do is anchor a spring to a fixed wall or something like this. So here's a spring, and I'll draw a picture of it like this. And let's say that when it's right here, we'll call it zero, the, the spring isn't stretched at all. Okay, but then I'm going to pull on it to the right. Now it's going to pull back, right? Correct? So, so I'm going to pull it to the right. And what I can do is draw a graph of how much force it takes me to pull that spring, depending on how far we are. And now these can be in centimeters or millimeters or meters if the spring is big enough. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to graph the force that we apply to the that we that we apply to the spring um, as uh, you know a function of x. And what we notice is that look right here the force is zero when the displacement is zero. And then I pull it a little bit it takes a little bit of force to do that. And one thing I notice is that as I pull the spring, the force increases by the same proportion each time. In other words, we have a straight line right here. This is um, a property of springs. Uh, most springs obey uh, this kind of relationship between force uh, and uh, displacement. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna change something here. I'm gonna call this F sub A S, the force that I apply to this spring and you'll see why I do that here in a second. But now the area of this is the work done and that's what I'm concerned about here. But first, oh, let's talk about the slope here. What's the slope of this line and what does it mean? Let's talk about the slope of this. Well, the slope here is uh, the rise over the run. So that's going to be a change in force over a change in position. That's going to have newtons in units of newtons per meter. And what it is, it's a measure of how stiff the spring is, right? It's how much force I need to stretch the spring one meter. Now, of course, most springs you can't stretch that much, right? I mean, you have a little spring out of a ballpoint pen, and the most you can stretch it is maybe a couple of centimeters, but that's okay. This is a ratio of how much force you need to stretch the spring uh, one meter. How many newtons of force you need to stretch it or compress it by one uh, uh, meter. Now this has a name, this uh, measure of stiffness of a spring. Uh, the slope of this is called uh, the spring constant. And we give it a variable name of k and it has units of newtons per meter. Now, um, let's talk about the area underneath this graph and how the area of this represents the work done uh, to the spring. So uh, this is the work it takes to stretch the spring. And I'm doing this a little differently than the book does. So I'm going to get back to the, what the book does here in a second. But uh, just, just follow along. OK. Well, this is a triangle, right? So this is one half the base times the height, right? So one half, so this is the work done, because the work is represented by the area underneath that graph. And the base is x, and this is the, the force that I apply to the spring. So those are my two variables here. Now, uh, but what is this? Well, this, this is a straight line. I can represent the force as a function of s, x. So the force as a function of x is equal to kx, right? right? I mean, y equals mx plus b. Remember that? y equals mx plus b. Well, y, instead of the y-axis, we're calling this the force axis. 
Uh, the slope, we've just defined the slope of this line to be the spring constant. Uh, and then x is my horizontal axis plus b. Well, when the, when the displacement is zero, the spring, we don't need any force. That's, we, we defined our, our origin to be where the spring has no uh, force on it, where it's slack. We call that the equilibrium position. So this right here is my my uh, um, equation that describes the force on the spring as a function of, of, of our position and how much we've stretched it. So we can substitute that in here. This is equal to 1 half k. I'm sorry, 1 half x times kx. Well, this gives me a really cool little equation. The work done, the work that I had to do to stretch a spring is equal to 1 half k x squared. Now, this is how much work I have to do. Some outside agent. I have to come up here and pull that, that spring out. Okay. Well, that took work. I transferred work, uh, I mean energy, from me into this system. And so, um, and where did that work go? Where I mean, where did that energy go? It went into the spring. And this, the work done to stretch the spring is also the work done, uh, the work that, is, or energy that is stored by uh, the spring. Now, what if we wanted to turn this around? Um, oh, no, let's not turn it around yet. <laughs> okay, what if I just wanted to go from here to here? Like here's my x initial and x final. And we just want to know how, how much work does it take to stretch the spring from here over to here? All right, well, um, we can use the trapezoid thing, but I think it's fun. Uh, and useful actually to uh, use a little calculus here. So remember we said that work is equal to force as a function of x times dx from x initial to x final. Okay, well now let's uh, apply this. Uh, what's our force as a function of x? Well, it, uh, force of x equals kx. So we're going to put the integral from x initial to x final as being kx times dx. Well, th this is the e one of the easiest integrals you can get. OK, so the k comes out. It's a constant. It's, a, again, a measure of how stiff the spring is, how many newtons of force you need to stretch it a meter. But then we have the integral, x initial to x final of x dx. Well, this is equal to k times, uh, uh, well, x times x is x squared over 2. Hey, look at this. 1 half kx squared. 1 half kx squared is just the area of, it, uh, of a triangle. But, but now we have to evaluate it between x initial and x final. And so, we say that the work it took to stretch the spring from this x initial out to here is um, 1 half k x final squared minus 1 half k x initial squared. So this is how much work it takes to stretch a spring.